Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ramon Wilson, leader and founder of Team LTL, which is Lifting Traders Lifestyles. And this evening, um, I want to share with you guys, my team members and everybody in this group, uh, a technique that I found in the IML Academy watching IML TV by uh, Eric and Alonzo. And I want to enhance one a little bit from something that I learned as well about the Ichimoku and the Bollinger Bands. Um, I like to call it the Boku strategy. All right. Um, the reason why, if you look on my screen right now, you won't see that I got a lot of uh, looks kind of naked because I don't have any other uh, oscillators like uh, your RSI, your MACD or anything like that. Because I found that these indicators, the Ichimoku and the Bollinger Bands, with this, these two combined, uh, you can pretty much predict a good trend and you can get into some good pips with uh, this uh, Boku style that I'm about to show you guys. So um, I'm going to I'm going to walk you guys through the whole thing. I don't want to make this video long, but I'm going to uh, show you the indicators that I use, uh, the settings you need to have set, what to look for and how this can be very effective uh, for your trading, both with crypto and with um, with the Forex market. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, right now we're actually looking at uh, Bitcoin USD or BTC slash USD, and we're on the 15 minute time frame. Now, I want to put this out here right now that uh, this can work for any time frame, but I noticed that the the lower time frames, the 15 to five, the 15 to five, and the three minute time frame, they work best with this strategy. Okay, especially if you're scalping. So for Forex, we're going to be looking at the one hour and the four hour. OK, so right now we're looking at crypto. Like I said, we're on the 15 minute chart and we're looking at Bitcoin USD. So the first thing you want to do is, OK, you want to make sure you have your Ichimoku. All right. Um, if you're on the uh, web analyzer right now, I'm using TradingView because the um, the web analyzer, I just I just like to use this a lot better. It's a lot smoother to me. But the web analyzer, OK. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it. You can use it. Um, I don't think it has the Ichimoku cloud. We can check real quick. Uh, let's see if it has the Ichimoku cloud. Let's just look and see if it has it. Uh, I think it does. Ichi Ichimoku cloud. Yes, it does have the Ichimoku cloud. So this can be used um, with the actual IML web analyzer. Okay. So, um, but like I said, I'm using Trade and View. They have a free version you can use. Works just as good. The Web Analyzer works just as good. Again, this can be applied on that as well. So you want to make sure you have the Ichimoku Cloud. And how you get that on um, Trade and View is you just go up to Indicators. Okay, you go up here to Indicators and you type it in Ichimoku Cloud. So you go to Ichi I C H and it should pop up Ichimoku Cloud right here. You click on that. All right, and it will bring it up here. Uh, then the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you got your Bollinger Band. Same thing. You go up to your indicators and you type in Bollinger Bands. And here it is right here. You click that and it will bring it up here. Um, the next thing you want to do is make sure your settings are correct on your Ichimoku and your Bollinger Band. So you just click this little format right here. All right. Um, I like to make my lines fat, so I move them out. All right, we're not going to use the lagging span, so you can unclick that. So where it says lagging span, you want to make sure that's unclicked. But you're definitely going to need these. All right, and I just make my lines a little fatter. The conversion line and the baseline, I make them a lot fatter so I can see when the uh when the actual candles are touching. All right, um, and then you can either save as uh, save as default or you can just click OK. All right, you click OK, you got that. So um, oh yeah, when you do the inputs. These are the inputs you want to make sure they are. You want to make sure it's 9, 26, 52, and 26. Okay. So I'll give you a minute to write that down. Those, that's what you want to have on the actual um, you want to have that on the Ichimoku. Okay. All right. So once you have that and you have your lines how thick you want them, okay, go ahead and click OK. Then you go to your actual bonder bands. And for input, you want to make sure it's 20. It's on close too, and if you want your style, again, I make I make the lines the upper, the bay, the base, the bass, the upper and the lower. I make them a little bit fatter. And all you do is slide this over, and it makes them a little bit fatter. Okay. Once you have those settings and those inputs, you can go ahead and click set as default and hit OK. All 
all right and you have that so right now and as you see i have both the bollinger band and the ichimoku cloud now the key with this uh with, with this is okay first thing i want to tell you there's three ways that you can trade uh the bollinger bands on forex and crypto all right the first way is consolidation all right uh the second is you know you got your bollinger band snapback which is another method inside of the iml academy the snapback method and then the third one is the bollinger band squeeze which is to me is very underrated and that's the one we're going to be concentrating on is the bollinger band squeeze all right and i'm going to show you why i say i think this is very important and it's a it's a great way to um you know do some technical analysis and you can uh distinguish trends in the market whether up and down all right so again there's three ways you can uh trade the bollinger bands in forex and crypto and again that's consolidation the bollinger band snapback and the bollinger band squeeze all right and like i say we're going to focus on the third one which is the bollinger band squeeze all right um understanding uh the ichimoku a little bit all right i'm going to take the bollinger band off so we can just the ichimoku the cloud this is what people when you hear to them talking about the cloud uh you actually have um your uh your cloud is up here all right of course you know the green means you know you got a lot of uh a lot of bulls the red you know usually when it comes down you got a lot of uh bears or downwards trend all right you got your tk cross up all right your tk cross up your tk cross down uh you got one over here tk cross and it goes down and then you have your actual uh kumo breakout which is a, a breakout just like with a uptrend or a downtrend you have a breakout where it breaks all the way out and goes all the way up and then you have the break breakout where it goes all the way down so the same rules applies with the um with the ichimoku cloud that's the most simplified way i can put it all right but we're going to be mainly looking at the uh the tk cross up and a tk cross down with this okay um so like i said we're going to be looking at combining the ichimoku and the bollinger band together so right now we're just looking at the ichimoku all right so um, i'm going to go ahead and close that one and you can just hide it you don't have to get rid of it you click this little eyeball right here show hide and you can hide it so the first thing i want you guys to do all right you want to look for a squeeze in the bollinger band and when i say a squeeze this is a squeeze when the top of the bollinger band comes down and the bottom of the bollinger band comes up it's squeezing and see how it's forming like this little squeeze like if you think of a, a tube of toothpaste if you squeeze in the middle you know you have some toothpaste back here and some up here that's what you're looking for you're looking for when the bottom of the bollinger band comes up and the top of the bollinger band comes down now i'm going to show you right now all right what you uh would be looking for with this and the reason why i didn't put the ichimoku cloud over here because when i look at a pair and I'm looking at, I'm, I'm using this strategy right here I want to be looking at one piece at a time like a layer okay so the first layer I'm looking at is I'm looking for a squeeze and as we can see we have one right here we have a great squeeze all right right here in this area let me go ahead and show you guys let me get an arrow all right so we're going to be looking right here uh, sorry about that let me get rid of that remove we're going to be looking let me get over here arrow sorry we're gonna be looking right in this area right here all right right in here in this area this squeeze right here so the first thing you want to do is uh with the boku strategy you want to wait for the bollinger band squeeze so you want to wait for it so right now we looking we have a squeeze okay that's the first step you want to look for the squeeze all right then you want to um allow the ichimoku signal to give you a direction so we've already identified the squeeze is right here in this area okay we know that the squeeze is in this area so now we're going to go ahead and put on our uh, ichimoku and we want to see where the signal is giving us the direction so let me just show you remember we talked about the tk cross and the tk uh the tk cross up and the tk cross down you have this red tk right here it crossed and it went up all right it crossed the blue and the direction of the ichimoku is pointing up all right so as you can see as it's pointing up okay the next thing you want to wait for you want to wait for your bars or your candles to close whichever way that it's pointing up so we want these bars to close above the uh 20 ema line this yellow line right here is your ema your 20 ema okay this is your 20 ema so we want once we notice that it's a squeeze that's the first step all right we, we identified the squeeze okay 
and now we want to put our Ichimoku on okay and we want to let it give us a signal okay which way that the trend is going so we have the TK cross up it crossed over the blue and it's pointing up next we want to make sure that our candles are closing above the 20 EMA above the 20 EMA it's going up so we want it to close above if it was going down we wanted to close below so now that this candle it came all right it started came down came back up and it closed above this 20 EMA so now that it's done that okay now that it's actually uh, closed above our 20 EMA we could take this trade on an uptrend okay we could take because it's already we've already verified it we verified the squeeze the Ichimoku has definitely gave us the cross it's going up and our candle has closed above the 20 EMA and if you look right here we went on an uptrend now remember we're on a 15 minute time frame so it went on a uptrend okay it went on an uptrend and right there that is about let's see what that is from here to there that's about 145 pips right there that's 145 pips right there all right 145 pips so that's that's one way that's one strategy right there the the boku okay you want to wait for the squeeze remember the first step you want to wait for the squeeze all right you want to wait for the squeeze so we're going to go ahead and we're going to type all right so step one i'm going to go step one let me go ahead and erase this step one all right you want to wait for the bargain band squeeze so wait for squeeze all right so that's the first one we want to wait for the bollinger band squeeze that's step one you want to wait for that squeeze all right and you don't want to get right in on the squeeze you want to start just wait to see if the bollinger bands they're going to start moving away from each other that's letting you know that the market is about to open up and go in in uh, favor of that trend so you want to wait for the bulge and bear squeeze the second one you want to allow the Ichimoku so we're going to type here all right you want to let the uh, Ichimoku all right text two we want to step two we want to allow I'm going to abbreviate Ichimoku EC we want to allow it to signal the direction all right so that's step two all right allow the Ichimoku to signal that direction so we identified the squeeze okay then we turn out Ichimoku on remember you can do like that to turn it on and it did the, the TK the, the uh, TK cross up so that's the Ichimoku letting us know it's going in an uptrend all right now that we've identified those two things we want to see if our the candles are going to close above the 20 EMA so the next step step three step three there we go step three does candle close above or below 20 EMA line and remember you can make you can make this yellow you can make the um colors of your candles and everything yellow so we want to make sure step 3 does the candle close above or below the 20 20 EMA line remember if the candle if the TK cross is going up you want it to uh, close above the 20 EMA and if the TK down is pointing down it crosses the blue with a cross down we want it to close below all right and then step four we're going to take the trade okay step four we're going to take the trade in the direction step four 
take the trade for the direction. All right. And I'm going to put buy or sell. Buy slash sell. All right. So we're going to take it for the buy or the sell. In this case, it closed above the 20 EMA. So we're going to take the buy. And as you can see, it confirmed. All right. It confirmed. Now, you're probably wondering, OK, so what about my stop loss? OK, what your stop loss is if, OK, if this is a buy, OK, in the 20 EMA, I would set my stop loss five to 10 pips below, below where you entered at. So this is where you came in at as soon as this closed, OK, that it closed on this 20 EMA, OK, I would set my stop loss five to 20 it's up to you five to 20 pips below below okay where you entered it on the ema okay so i would set my stop loss somewhere around in here and then of course you could ride up all right you could ride it up you could ride it up so your take profit okay your take profit this is how you would be able to identify your take profit when the first candle, okay, the first candle actually goes outside or touches the actual Bollinger Band, all right? When it actually go outside the Bollinger Band, all right? And that's where you would take your profit. And you could actually look left, okay, and look for zones. And I'm going to show you how you do that, how you could have your different, uh, your different zones so right here this would be okay sorry about that let's erase that remove let's go here let's go horizontal line so right here this would be your TP one all right so remember you got in here this will be your take profit one all right and you can look back and look for previous um previous support and resistance so this would be your take profit one if you just want to take one profit one here then you could go back and you could look for another one all right this would this could be another one up here all right this could be it that would be a tp1 this could be your tp2 all right so tp1 boom come back in you do the same process all over again this would be your tp2 all right and that's how you could that's how you could identify your uh stop loss like i said your stop loss your um and your take your take profit okay identify your zones so right there like i said that would have been 140 pips all right once you hit your tp like i said the way you would get your tp when the first candle once you come in once it come out and it goes outside of this actual um, touching or goes outside of the outside of the Bollinger Band on an uptrend. OK, that's when you would take your profit and vice versa. So let's look at Let's see if we can identify another one. I want to show you guys another one. See if we can identify another one. All right. So you have the rules written down when you watch this video, if you want to write them down or if you need more help with it, I'll be glad to help you guys. But I'm just giving you guys a general overview. So we'll look for another squeeze. Let's look for another squeeze. All right. Let's look for another squeeze. A real good one. All right. So we got one right here. Let's zoom in. All right. So look, we have another squeeze right here. Okay. We have another squeeze. All right. So you got the squeeze right here. Here's your squeeze. OK. What do you have? You have the actual. Uh, you have your squeeze so we could take off the Ichimoku. All right. We have the squeeze. We have a squeeze right here. We have a squeeze. So we identified our squeeze. That's the first one. 
then we want to allow the Ichimoku to give us a signal so we're looking okay we're looking for a cross the TK uh, the TK cross up or the TK cross down okay so we're looking and we see that the blue came in and it crossed over and it went down okay crossed over and it went down so now like I was showing you right right here all right we have a TK cross down so we've already identified the squeeze all right now we cut on our Ichimoku we let the Ichimoku cloud give us a signal in which way it's going it crossed and it's going down okay the next thing we want is if it's going down we want our candle to close below all right we want that downtrend candle that red candle to close below below okay below the 20 EMA it closed below the 20 EMA so you could have actually came in all right you wanted to wait a little bit more for it to open up remember you want it to open up all right you don't want to just come in all right away you want to give it a chance to open up so even if you would have got in back here you would have had a little divergence and then look what happened you had a major drop it went down and that right there ladies and gentlemen is about let's just say you did get in here so it came in all right came up and it I mean came in and it closed so we could take it from here we can come all the way down to this low that's 325 pips right there ladies and gentlemen if you just would have got in been patient and trusted your technical analysis the Ichimoku and the Bollinger Bands all right now you could have came in and you could have took profit soon as it hit right here could have took profit right there that would have been a nice profit because it came and it touched that Bollinger Band that outside Bollinger Band all right that outside Bollinger Band but if you would have waited you would have came out some more and you wrote it down all right and if you wouldn't have got out right here you could have got out right here when it closed right here you could have got out and that would have been 320 some pips right there so that's just a little strategy I wanted to show you guys ladies and gentlemen the Boku strategy all right using the Bollinger Band and the Ichimoku cloud so remember the rules that I showed you guys all right we're gonna remember the rules go back to our rules first step you want to wait for the Bollinger Band squeeze all right remember you don't have to have your, your Ichimoku on if it's too much for your eyes all right you want to wait for the actual close I mean the uh, the squeeze all right you identify the squeeze then you turn your Ichimoku on you allow the Ichimoku to signal the direction remember your TK uh, your TK cross up and your TK cross down once you see that indicator then you move to step three okay does the candle close above or below the 20 EMA all right remember you want to make sure that it closed all right we got our TK we got our squeeze the TK going up this candle closed above the 20 EMA okay and you could have got in here or you could have got in here and caught you some pips and soon as this touched the outside of this Bollinger Band that's when you take your profit so you could have took your profit around eight seven eight seven one six okay you could have took it around that and then you go look for the next you go back you know you keep searching keep searching for another squeeze and you continue doing that re repeat and re re rinse very simple very simple strategy that works uh, as you see I showed you guys so um, didn't want to make this video too long I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video make sure you write down some notes take it apply it demo it with your uh, demo account use the web analyzer like I told you okay you don't have to use trading view you can do this same technique on your uh, IML web analyzer and again you can use it for crypto or you can use it for um, Forex remember for crypto what works seems to work the best is on the 15 the 5 and the 3 minute and this technique works very well with the 1 hour and the 4 hour on Forex okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the other side Yee!